after a halving, the Bitcoin price always lags the model value and the price starts moving only a couple months after the halving and it takes 12 to 18 months before the price um, gets to the to the stock to flow model predictions we're still in a bull market and i know it it might fight it might feel differently but uh, the numbers don't lie those are all on-chain numbers uh, there's nothing abnormal we should be here uh, I would be worried if we, if we would get yellow now or, or green, which is impossible, but yellow. But we don't have it. It's red. It's a bull market. So that gives me some comfort. Plan B, a popular anonymous Bitcoin analyst, has shared his bullish market outlook amidst concerns that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies may not achieve significant price gains before the 2024-2025 bull market concludes. In a recent video on his Plan B YouTube channel, the former institutional investor addresses increasing pessimism and negative market sentiment among crypto investors. He notes that it is precisely when despondency peaks that prices tend to stage a surprising recovery, potentially reaching his end-of-year prediction of $150,000 per coin. Plan B has consistently emphasized the impact of Bitcoin's periodic halving events on its price movements. He believes the current consolidation phase is due to minor capitulation. And once this phase ends, he is confident that those predicting the bull market's end will be proven wrong as prices soar rapidly. He expects Bitcoin's price to double from the previous cycle's lows roughly six months before the halving and to double again around six months after the halving, placing Bitcoin prices between $80,000 and $120,000 per coin later this year. Between October 2024 and November 2025, Plan B anticipates Bitcoin prices to climb even higher easily surpassing six digits before the cycle concludes. RSI, that's interesting. Dropped a little bit, or is stable between 60 and 70, you could say. Uh, it's 65 now, it was 69, and some people think the bull market is over. And actually their reasoning is quite interesting. Uh, the reasoning is that Bitcoin has diminishing returns. So each cycle, we see the tops uh, getting lower, and the bottom's getting lower. And also in this RSI chart, you can clearly see a diminishing return pattern. I don't believe in diminishing returns. I believe in expo exponential uh, returns. The people that think the bull market is over also see a normalizing. So they think Bitcoin markets are normalizing to a normal trading range. So the normal trading range of the RSI is between six, uh, 30 and 70. So for stocks, for example, for foreign exchange markets, it's all between six, uh, between 30 and, se and 70. So Bitcoin is a bit higher. So you could see this uh, peak at, at above 70 as a normalizing of Bitcoin markets. And then we see a bear market that's, that's probably steeper into the 30 area. So I can understand that, that reasoning. The, the bear market reasoning, but I don't think that will be the case. In my opinion, there will not be diminishing returns. There will be exponential returns, and we will see RSI values above 80 again, like in 2013, in 2017, and in, 2000, in uh, 2021. So time will tell, but uh, it, it is interesting, and we'll be watching the RSI quite closely. The banana zone cometh. And that is your reward. These are the bananas. That curve on the chart, that's the reward you're going to get for holding on for your dear f***ing life. Patience. Don't get over your ski tips. Don't use leverage. Don't FOMO into dumb shit. Keep the right assets in your portfolio. Don't go too far out the risk curve and just let it all play out. Patience is a virtue. I know everyone gets confused. Everyone gets nervous because Look, the reality is the banana zone is funny. It's funny because it's shaped like the banana. It's phallic. Um, it's just amusing. Markets go bananas. We all love it. We all act like ape. I get that. But I also understand fully it's everybody's hopes and dreams. So look, I, I take that very responsibly, and it's scary sticking my neck out this much. But I'm trying to help as many people as possible. I honestly think this space going from $2.5 trillion in crypto to $100 trillion by let's say 2032, is going to be the biggest, largest wealth accumulation in history. And I want everybody to come along for the ride. It won't be easy. You will fuck it up at some point. But 
and so will I. But we'll do our best to make it there in one piece and to have made a ton of money because it is the way to unfuck your future. A popular anonymous Bitcoin analyst has shared his bullish market outlook amidst concerns that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies may not achieve significant price gains before the 2024-2025 bull market concludes. In a recent video on his Plan BU2 channel, the former institutional investor addresses increasing pessimism and negative market sentiment among crypto investors. He notes that it is precisely when despondency peaks that prices tend to stage a surprising recovery, potentially reaching his end-of-year prediction of $150,000 per coin. Plan B has consistently emphasized the impact of Bitcoin's periodic halving events on its price movements. He believes the current consolidation phase is due to minor capitulation, and once this phase ends, he is confident that those predicting the bull market's end will be proven wrong as prices soar rapidly. He expects Bitcoin's price to double from the previous cycle's lows roughly six months before the halving and to double again around six months after the halving, placing Bitcoin prices between $80,000 and $120,000 per coin later this year. Between October 2024 and November 2025, Plan B anticipates Bitcoin prices to climb even higher, easily surpassing six digits before the cycle concludes. Despite being only 15 years old, Bitcoin has already reached a market value of $1 trillion. Bitcoin maximalist and mathematician Fred Kruger perceives Bitcoin as more than just a payment system. He envisions it evolving into a new kind of global currency. He emphasizes the importance of not missing out on this financial innovation and considers concerns about its competitors meaningless. Kruger believes that Bitcoin will have a profound global impact as its adoption grows, especially with increasing interest from financial institutions, which signals that this future is becoming more likely. The impact of Bitcoin on the world economy is very similar to, you know, the impact of, say, the Industrial Revolution of the late, um, you know, the post-Civil War kind of era in America. You know, it, it's going to be enormous. And I think we will, it will get adopted and it, it, it doesn't need, uh, it really doesn't need, it doesn't need to, it's not a payment system. You know, it's just like, you just got to believe, you got to understand that. It's not a payment system. What matters is we've got a new form of money that is going to be that is being deployed worldwide. That's 15 years old and it's one one trillion dollars in in in, in uh, value right now. And you do not doing is creating a lot of new addresses with one Bitcoin in them, right? And so you see this pattern of uh, new addresses with one Bitcoin in them, new addresses with a thousand dollars in them, new addresses with 0 0.1 Bitcoin in them, uh, new addresses with uh, 10 Bitcoin in them. All of these things are uh, growing up and to a, the right with a power law. So, um, so yeah, so I do think that these, I think addresses are uh, a good proxy for um, user growth. I don't think it's the total, um, Total thing. Yeah, so Tom Young completely agrees. Supply has been static for the most part because mining is, a, is small. So that's one of the things I put in that document too, which is let's look at mining right now. Mining at this point, in all of 2025, you're going to have 0.78% of the supply of Bitcoin that's going to be mined. It, it's not significant. It's 1% of Bitcoin supply is going to be mined. You know, um, you know, uh, the Mount Gox, so 